Hi there folks, it's Alex at the Southern Ukulele Store and this week we're going to talk about Uma ukuleles. I first saw Uma at the NAMM show in 2017. I walked past their stand and I saw a ukulele with this really lovely maple rosette and what looked like koa and I thought, oh, this is, you know, this is an alternative to Kanalea. This is something, you know, at that kind of premium price point. But, and then I looked closer and I was like, oh no, it's more kind of like Carla price point. But God, these ukuleles look good and it stuck with me uh, about two years ago now. They took on a UK distributor and we're able to stock more or less the full range. But some of them have arrived for the first time today and I'm really excited just to show you six uh, models from the Uma range that I think really stand out. And if you're somebody who's really co you know cost conscious about what ukulele you're buying but you want something all solid wood or something with a unique feature that's not kind of too ostentatious or too garish. I think Uma are the perfect balance, much like Kai, much like some of the Carl and Ohana models, um, even Snail. You know, something about Uma really gives you good value for money. I'm really confident that any of the ukes I show you today, you know, you'll play it, you'll guess the price and you'd be slightly wrong. Um, there are links to all of these ukuleles in the description. I always, I'm always surprised when I see a comment after I make a video going, where can I buy it? You know, you can buy it from us. That's that's why I'm here. <laughs> so check out the links in the descriptions for these ukuleles uh, before you click away for good. But I'm going to show you some pineapples, sopranos, concerts, tenors, a bit of everything today. And let's start with something blue. Okay, the first of three ukuleles on the agenda today is this, the Uma UK20 SSP. Now this is the blue model, as you can see. It's much like the Enya Mad series, um, some of the flight models out there. Blue is the ukulele color of the moment. And I've shown you this one in a soprano purely because it's the best representation of what to expect from these. It's very blue in areas as you look around the body. But under certain light, what you'll find is, you know, for example, the neck is more of a kind of turquoisey, greeny color. And that's consistent with the other ukuleles being made in China at this price point. And the Enyas have the same thing where it looks more blue in some lights than others. And I think what happens is the, the gloss has a kind of yellowing effect. So as it's exposed to UV light, I think the gloss quickly kind of yellows slightly and that pr produces kind of a, you know, a film effect over the blue and creates a bit more of a greeny color. I'm not trying to put you off it. I just want to give you kind of a realistic idea of what to expect, but this soprano blew me away for under 200 pound, well under 200 pound. This ukulele has a solid mahogany top, laminate mahogany back and sides, with a mahogany neck, a technical wood fingerboard and bridge, new bone nut and saddle, slotted headstock, with some really good open gear tuners and a 35 mil nut width. It also comes with this really cool, really highly padded gig bag with the Uma logo on the front in a stylish kind of light gray color like the snail bags. I just think it offers so much for the money. We're gonna look at the concert immediately after this. If this doesn't kind of float your boat in the way you'd like, the concert version may well do. And it's worth noting that this comes in blue, black, as you'll see shortly, and a natural color. I'll put links for all of them in the description. But yeah, this is the coolest sub 200 pound pineapple ukulele I've played in years. Let's give the UK 20 SSP a play. Second up today, we're going to take a look at this very cool but very moody looking concert pineapple ukulele. This is the Uma UK 20 SCP Black. Now, I think we'll agree there's not really anything black about this ukulele. It's more of a dark brown stain. Perhaps that's a translation kind of thing, but yeah, I mean, this is a really dark stain over mahogany. So it looks more like a like a traditional mahogany ukulele, kind of what we naturally associate mahogany to look like. And the natural version looks more like 
uh, a Pono MT or a Snail SUCM1, an unstained, very light brown mahogany. I think this is, of the two finishes, this is my, my favourite actually, although you know it's impossible to deny blue if you like blue. This dark brown has a real traditional look to it, but the UV, uh, but the gloss gives it that kind of pop, that sparkle to look at, and actually on the ears as well. Uh, solid mahogany top, laminate back and sides with a technical wood fingerboard and bridge. Technical wood means it's a manufactured wood. They're taking lots of pieces of, of kind of the off cuts of wood and then they're making a material that's as hard as a rosewood or ebony. This would be definitely more like rosewood looking at it. Slotted headstock with a 35mm nut width and actually a really nice, really stylish uh, looking and feeling volute on the back. Open gear tuners. And it's another ukulele that comes with a gig bag. Um, strung with fluorocarbon strings out of the factory. Really bright, really bold. This has so much depth to it. Lots of flavor, that's the kind of word I want to use. You know, there's a texture to this instrument that you don't often get on a normal shape concert at the same price. Let's give the UK20 SCP a play and see what you think. Okay, third up today, we're going to take a look at the UMA UK 16 ST. This was a ukulele that first attracted us to the brand. It's very simple on the surface. You know, it's a solid spruce top with a satin finish, laminate acacia back and sides. But there's just something stylish about that Twin Peak inlay. Hopefully you're getting a good close up of that now at the 12th fret. And it doesn't do the kind of the thing every single cutaway ukulele does where it has a pickup in. Not everyone wants a big cut out pickup in the side. You know, it's still an acoustic instrument, stylish pickup, nice inlay. A normal paddle headstock with some nice reliable black open gear tuners on the back. A 35mm nut width with just a touch of bling on the rosette with the abalone rosette. And yet again, it's another ukulele, well under £200, that comes with a really good padded gig bag. This is just absolutely perfect. If you're somebody who wants a first ukulele, you don't mind spending a little bit more than kind of the absolute bottom end budget, you will not outgrow this ukulele anytime soon. This is the kind of instrument you buy at the beginning and then you go back to it as an old favourite many years later. I imagine as well, having this satin finish, it'll buff up really nice and look really warm and aged very quickly. Yeah, the UK 16 ST. A real highlight in the Uma range. Let's give it a play and see what you think. Let's play.
That is so loud acoustically, it's a weapon. If you're playing a uke group and you want the loudest ukulele under £200, it's the UK16 ST. Next up today, we're going to take a look at the UMA UK20 ST. This ukulele looks so familiar to me, it's almost as if it's identical to a Snail SUT M2, but without the pickup, slightly more affordable, and a slotted headstock. Now I think we're all, we're all grown up enough and knowledgeable enough by now, if you're watching a channel that regularly compares ukuleles, you know, there are, there are going to be some overlapping models where different brands spec up something very similar, the same factory is producing it. And I think that's what's happened here. This model is very, very similar to the popular, I mean really deservedly popular Snail um, M1 and M2 series. It has a solid mahogany top, laminate mahogany back and sides, a gloss finish. A nice deep body, you know, it's, it's a big tenor ukulele without being a super tenor. Just a touch of bling with that abalone rosette like the model before. Technical wood fingerboard and bridge. So that's one difference from the snail. The snail has an ebony fingerboard and bridge. This slotted headstock which pulls the strings back at a slightly tighter angle and creates a bit more tension in the strings. So it's a slightly tighter feeling instrument. And you do get a slightly wider nut width. This just measured up, I've actually literally just measured it. It's somewhere between 37 and 38 mil. I'm finding it really hard. I quite like to get a second opinion on it, but let's say it's a 37 mil nut width, but it feels really nice and flat with a nice um, kind of thinner neck profile than some of the other Umas we've looked at so far in the video. Um, there will be the correct information in the listing below. I'm sorry that I don't have it to hand on camera. It just shows that I'm checking this stuff as I film it. And um, once again, it comes with that padded gig bag. It's a really tidy looking ukulele, something that you can take to a uke group. It's not too expensive that you wouldn't feel upset if it got dinged, but it's something that you could really play quite happily uh, among instruments that are maybe 100, 200 pound more expensive. So let's give the UMA UK20 ST a play and see what you think. The last two ukuleles we're going to look at today are a real treat and um, I know I, the overwhelming thing I keep going on about in this video is you know value for money but I can't understand how a company could produce something for kind of 300 to 350 pound with this nice wood on a factory level and make money. I just don't get it. This is the classic ST. The first of two ukes I'm going to show you, consider this like a style one, you know, like this is the, an off, a, a very much affordable alternative to a Kamaka HF3 or a Canalea K1T. It's all solid acacia, so it has that island sound, you know, that richer, sweeter sound. Um, but yeah, they all look very different. We've started listing these classic STs individually, so if you see multiple listings on the website, that's why, because each one has the kind of figured wood that you'd want to showcase individually and uh, a good testament I can give to this instrument is that I put one of these on the wall by mistake uh, next to uh, all of our millers which were out on display and it took days for anyone to notice because it just fits so nicely against the millers and you know even the flight fireballs and the phantoms of this world a lovely looking ukulele uh, once again, technical finger fingerboard and bridge with, it felt like a wider nut, I've just measured this one up as well. And uh, once again, it, it's somewhere between 37 and 38 when I measure it here. The string spacing is quite wide as well, so I imagine the string spacing is around, around a 28 or a 29. And yeah, just a slightly bigger feeling you can the hands. I wonder if that's a modern change that we're just picking up on as I film this video. 
Um, they have a gloss neck. They feel like uh, a Pono Deluxe or a Flight Phantom. They feel really good in the hands and they're a very worthy alternative cosmetically, aesthetically. They smell good, they taste good, they feel good. It's, um, it's a great uke. The penultimate uke of the day, the classic ST. Let's give it a play and see what you think. The final ukulele I'm going to look at today is a worthy headliner of this video. This is the UMA UK30 ST Evo. That's a lot of letters, you know. But let's just look at it on face value. This is an all solid Acacia Style 3 ukulele. Style 3 being that it has front binding. So it has front black binding with front abalone front uh, binding too. So a dual binding on the front. A black binding on the back and a rosette in this case a really lovely not very figured but just a really cool looking white maple rosette that contrasts nicely with the all solid acacia body so you have an all solid acacia top back and sides with a mahogany neck a slightly wider nut width again on this ukulele 38 mil with a slotted headstock and the open gear tuners it's another ukulele that comes with a gig bag there's just nothing not to like about this if you were looking at a pono if you're looking at a flight phantom for around the same kind of money what you get here is a another not an, what you get here is another really lovely all solid acacia ukulele and crucially one with a slightly wider nut width that comes with a really nice paddock gig bag wow what a uke what a lot great last uke to end the video on i feel like there's more i should say but i i guess the ukulele does the talking itself here Let's give the UK30 ST Evo a play and see what you think.
Well, there you have it, folks. A long overdue video showcasing Uma, uh, the brand that's kind of slipped under the radar here in the UK, but have a real, I mean, more than a handful, several handfuls of fantastic models at reasonable prices. Um, if you're in the market for a new ukulele, perhaps this video has helped you. If that's the case, you know, and you have any questions, please do email us at in-store alex at ukulele.co.uk or call me on 01202 430 820. Um, also, if you're enjoying my playing, please do check out my own channel, Ukes with Alex. And I think that about wraps it up for this week. Thanks for watching. Take care.